Greetings, I'm Hologram Sam, and you are truly welcome to my channel. Maestro Evil Eye setups for Coastline, Border, and Salé. Let's go! Coastline Hookah and Billiards Cam Setup. The first cam goes to Hookah, and second one on the Billiards Doorway. Through the standard rotation hole, you can see aquarium and billiard side. Common plant spot behind the bar. Although you cannot see, you will be hearing anyone entering hookah. Second cam has side towards cool wipes, VIP, VIP hall and billiards. You can protect the cam with Jaeger ADS or Vamai magnets. Penthouse and theater. First cam goes behind the TV on site, and the second one watching VIP. Common plant spot behind the bee bomb. Also, you have nice sight towards the other doorway. Here you can see VIP window, Hall of Fame doorway, and most importantly, the whole big reinforced wall to sight. Kitchen and service entrance. To get the first cam right, align yourself towards the fridge door gaps. Then place the cam near the standard rotation hole. Second one will cover all indoor entry points to site. Here you can see the service entrance doorway, toilets, kitchen doorway and here anyone entering from kitchen window. The second one has sight towards sunrise bar, cool wipes and destructible walls to site. Blue bar and sunrise bar. First cam goes to office watching the reinforced wall. Second one goes to sunrise bar. Here you can deny termite or hibana and you will hear anybody entering from outside. This evil eye will be watching the entry points to sunrise. Very often the plant goes down next to bee bomb. And now moving on the border. Customs inspections and supply room. First one pretty standard yet effective on-site cam. Second one goes to CCTV because most likely attackers will try to get control of it. Smash the papers out of way and you can stick the cam inside the shelf. Good possibility it goes unnoticed here. This one is covering entry points to customs and with the upstairs evil eye you can also defend the hatch if you choose to reinforce it. Ventilation and workshop. In this setup we are going to put both cams upstairs. First one goes to office and the second one goes to armory lockers. Destroy the floor here so it will also open a rotation hole to archives. Stick the cam on the pipe and poke some holes next to it. You'll see shortly why. Break the floor here and put the second evil eye on the lockers. If you have the armory desk hatch reinforced, you can poke some holes here to protect it with evil eye. So the first one can see office, archives hatch and part of the armory lockers. Through the broken floor you can deny hard breachers entering from bathroom. Here you can see the armory lockers side fully and the hatch we spoke about. Through the broken floor you can see ventilation window. 
common plant spot right here. Bathroom and Tellers Not too popular side pick, but here's some solid evil eye setup nevertheless. First one goes to waiting room, and the second one goes to office. Here you can see the whole waiting room area, east stairs and line of sight towards bathroom. This one is here because most probably attackers will try to take control of room above the site. With this you can also deny hatch opening. Last site would be the most popular armory lockers and archives. First one goes to watch armory wall. If you stick it next to the pipe, it might stay hidden. If you prefer full vision towards the wall, you can just put the cam on the half wall. Second one goes to archives. If you poke this small hole here, you can also see the archives entrance. This one covers all archives entry points and also sees and hears office site. Next up, chalet. Master bedroom and office. First evil light goes to watch bedroom side, and the other one goes top great room stairs. If you make some holes to these barricades, you will see any attackers entering from the balcony side. If they are standing up, that is. Office balcony entrance here, and also if you poke these holes, you can see important portion of the bedroom hall here. This one has great vision towards bedroom hall, library and also office balcony if you chose to break the barricades a little. Remember also the sound cues from down below. Bar and gaming room. First one goes to watch the gaming room. This might seem a bit silly at first, but it actually can go unnoticed quite easily and it has a great vision to the common plant spots. The other evil eye goes to watch the great room area. With this cam you can also deny the common wall from being breached. Wine cellar and snowmobile garage. First one goes to see the most important parts of basement hall, and this other one has really good vision to almost everywhere. There is the really common wine stock wall to be breached. And this cam can see the great room hatch, stairs, blue, basement hall entrance and wine stock. And now for the final setup, kitchen and trophy. Great overall cam on dining hall and the other one goes upstairs to bedroom. You have to shoot these vases properly so the shrapnel doesn't block your vision. This corner is pretty dark so the cam might just go unnoticed. Depends a bit on the graphic settings of the attacker. Here you can see the kitchen and trophy window, including all of the dining room. This is very important room for the opponents to take when they are attacking kitchen and trophy. Deny the hatch opening with this cam. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, you can subscribe for more. Also, the like button is feeling a little stiff today. Maybe you could give it a nice relaxing massage. Black B.
Beard is a fair and balanced operator, a character that denies a core mechanic of the game, is very good for the health of the game. Minus underscore minus. You can stop worrying about grenades now. What's in the canister? Daddy Sam here. Look at all those chickens. Sam is the man with all the ham. I trust my teammates, and they trust me too. Fucking lazy sides. Tactical nuke incoming. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Hollow Sam, and today we have an amazing spawn pick for the Sam fam.